guys okay welcome back to my channel and this is video three on the wine bottles for dolls and goblets the real working wine bottles um and dolls for goblets so yeah um like in my previous um two videos we were covering how to do the wine bottles and how they really work you fill them up with liquid and now it's finishing up in the goblets i um, I was showing how to add the glue so you could be able to make them stand up in the process. Um, I also did one with the boba um straw. No, no, not the boba. Sorry, this is not boba. I see straw. This is um the the boba is bigger than this, and this is a way a little bit more bigger than the regular straw, and this is the milkshake straw. And I just wanted to show you guys. The difference and just to do it if you guys wanted to do it for a bigger doll like uh i think it's called popa doll something like that i'm not sure um it's a bigger doll than a 12 inch i think it's not an 18 inch but it goes maybe what 13 or 14 inches it's just a little bit bigger it's under a barbie it's under an american doll and it's over a barbie and, you know, it's fitable for that. Or oh, even a Barbie still. It's like a big cup. Like, you know, when you go to Texas on barbecue or whatnot. <clears throat> oh, I haven't been there in years. So, yeah. Um, so, I just wanted to make the video. Um, and um, keep on showing you guys how to finish the process. Um, like I said, you could do it with puffy paint, acrylic paint. And I will be doing it, <clears throat> I don't know, I was thinking about using this color, but uh, it doesn't look like bloody or red. And um, so I think I will use the uh, acrylic paint with a little bit of Mod Podge in it. Um, because this is the puffy paint with the red paint, believe it or not, acrylic paint in the drop of the black. But, um... I'm guessing because it's still wet when it dries, it'll turn red, but uh, it went off the shading, so we will be using <clears throat> a new one. Um, yeah, I am using water ca bottle caps, um, that's how I recycle. So, yeah, guys, that's um, recycling. I put one drop of red paint, and I'm not going to put a full drop. A black what I'm doing is I'm gonna dab into the uh, bottle and um, the tip of this I would put it and then I'll add one drop of uh, Mod Podge and by the way guys this is Mod Podge I transfer it into this bottle okay um, alright, so I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to do it, and then I'll show you the finishing product, um, the reason, because of that, it's, um, I am holding the camera with one hand, so I can't be able to do it, uh, and I will be using this small tip brush where I, for application, um, for easier use, um, actually I'm going to mix this with the brush. As it is, and um, um, let me see. Maybe I could work something out. I gotta transfer the camera, so give me one second. Okay, I did the one dab in the black paint, and I did switch. Um, I'm gonna put the dab on the side. The reason I put it in the side is because the black paint tends to change rapidly if you see what I mean so if you don't pay attention like you really will throw you off with the color if you could see and you just want a vampy well not vampy red but well yeah vamp red which is like um I'm sorry if I'm um, not getting it good, but this is a, it would be a vampy red, would it be like a more darker tone. Okay. And, um, I can't hold the bottle, so 
see how we could do it like this okay but you would do it that lightly <laughs> guys I'm so sorry I'm shaking oh, sorry I had this to transfer my hand I'm so shaky this is incredible guys I so apologize but I do have uh, a little bit of nerve damage on my left side and I do uh, suffer from my nerves and plus my medication um, makes me shake a lot too I, I do have that problem and I do apologize so I think I better just off doing it you guys got the picture and I'm gonna show you the end product um because I really am sorry for the shakiness on my arm uh, I am so sorry I will be right back with the end product okay guys okay guys I'm done I'm so sorry about it I didn't realize how shaky I yet was um, to today's video, and, um, I even noticed I'm even more shaky. Well, this is the end prod product, and, uh, I tried to do it like it's on a hand holding the cup. It's a little wet, so I'm gonna try to show you guys. But it should resemble, like, a hand with, like, fingernails holding the cup, and, the rim of the base of it also being black and um yeah so and you guys just be creative you know and um just decorate your own thing and then after that you can attach a little eyeball at the um you know at the rim you could uh wherever you please you could attach a little eyeball or make some slime and put it in there and, you know, put the eyeball together, which I have a kind of a slime. Um, I just wouldn't want to mess with the cups. Um, but, uh, because I already um, did that one. It's looking kind of red in the inside as it's drying up. You guys can see it. It's uh, getting the color. So it's like vampy red real nice I like that color and the same even the name vampy red so yeah so guys I want to thank you very much um quick rant just out of nowhere um uh I don't know um I know that YouTube has changed throughout the years it has gotten very more critical um, it used to be such a close community. This is what attracted me to YouTube years ago. And I just noticed that, um, oh, um, I don't know, because I myself been like that. I've given my opinions, and I'm learning along the way. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I myself have been in the past, and I've given myself comments and opinions, um, that I think that thinking and looking back into it, um, we're kind of out of place. Um, or I, I, I'm just saying in my opinion, maybe somebody else would have been like, well, you're just being honest and you're just, you know, being brutally honest. And, you know, or, you know, if someone disrespected me and I fend for myself, well, you just defend it for yourself. Or, you know, um... Everybody has an opinion. We all have opinions. That's including me. Everyone is opinionated. Um, um, some people just, uh, we could be opinionated and just give a comment and be like, oh, I just think this is wrong. And other people come out roughly and disrespectful. There's a difference between being opinionated and defending yourself. And there's another difference when people are disrespectful. I just wanted to let you guys know that, um, you know, it is. It, 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 we should just every day be very cautious at what we do and how we treat others because we could be hurting others and we don't know how they are behind the screen. And that's what has along the way 
um, showed me that I have to be very careful um, be because of my judgment. I could make a difference in someone's life um, for the better, um, I hope, but for the worse, I wish not. You understand? So, and um, I don't want to be very thankful for those that have been very nice. Um, and your comments that I, I've been giving comments in the past um, and videos either that I have closed out to the public or whatnot. But, um, and I also had a share of um, people being disrespectful and I will defend myself. And um, just wanted to tell you guys that I want to thank you guys for your time. I will be doing the video that was deleted by YouTube. I, I didn't get to it on time. YouTube deleted it after I did whatever my account. But regardless, I'm gonna do less than trying to do less than 15 minutes of a of a video. But um, I really want to appreciate anyone that has seen this video. Whoever, I am blogging my database. Bases. I am. Uh, to me, I have my invisible audience right now, and that is amazing. And um, if I never have one, then I'm still talking to you guys, my invisible audience. And if I do have um, real people as my audience, then I really want to thank you guys for your time because you guys are humans in the flesh, and you have, you know people are busy and have a lot of other things to do so spending that time to watch my videos is amazing and very warm it makes me very warm and fuzzy inside because um people took out time to watch me and who i am and 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 that is special and that is amazing and i think a lot of people take that for granted here on youtube and um and I think that's not cool. <laughs> you know, to take it for granted it's not right. Um, because, you know, it's when you end up losing the good things that you have. And someone's attention being there for you is, is, is amazing. So, with that, what I really wanted to say is really thank you guys. I I appreciate it. Um, my imaginary and uh, my real <laughs> audience out there. <laughs> So you guys have yourself a great day and night if it's like me right now. Um, may God bless you all the way and have many blessings. And, you know, be positive, enjoy your day, and um, enjoy the little things in life that makes life and makes us. And, yeah, so until my next video, you guys be safe, take care, stay crafty. And I'm out. Bye.